Things you can do in Red Dead Redemption 1, I wish you could do in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, the game that came out eight years before Red Dead Redemption 2 is still a lot better than the second game in a lot of ways. So here are some of the things that I wish I could do in the second game. All right, first things first, barrel rolls. So this is a, a really simple one. If you point your gun as John and you press the X or square button, he'll do this. Ninja style, oh crap. Sorry, I don't want, my, I don't want to point my gun at you. Look, barrel roll. Barrel roll. When you do the same thing in Red Dead Redemption 2, it, Arthur just does kind of like a slide thing, which is still kind of cool, but I prefer the barrel roll. You can just like barrel roll and then like, you know, bam. Oh. Okay, wait, I'm sorry, I surrender. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. Oof, lost them. All right, second thing, buy properties. So surprisingly, you can't do this in Red Dead Redemption 2, but in Red Dead Redemption 1, there are a bunch of properties that you can buy and stay in forever. It's not like a renting thing, like you can just buy it and it's yours forever. There's this vacant property in Thieves Landing. Let's go buy that. Ah, uh, Thieves Landing. What a beautiful town to buy a flat in. Let's take a nice look at this. $100, not bad. All right. Whoa, damn, it's fancy. What the? Oh my god, what do you need help with, woman? This guy just robbed her. You gotta go after him. <laughs> See, what did I say? What a great town. Literally just moved in and there's already a lady asking me for help. Capture your own thief, woman. All right, so the third thing is Liar's Dice. So this is a very specific gambling minigame that you can only play in Red Dead Redemption 1. All right, so here we are. So I can ante 20 bucks. So the objective of this game is to keep all your dice and make sure everyone loses theirs. So let's see how successfully I can do this. That didn't go well. Oh crap. Okay, I've only got one die left. My bit. Shit. What do you take me for? Oh crap. <laughs> I lost. God damn it. Best man won. Best man won. That's it, fellas. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, this is getting really bloody. Hey, anyone else want some? Anyone else want to cheat? Didn't think so. All right, well that's liar's dice. Fourth thing, pardon letters. Okay, so let's say I decided to go a little crazy and just go on an absolute massacre. So I've gotten myself a $385 bounty, which is uh, pretty good, I would say. So now let's escape. There we go. So you might notice that I don't have enough money to actually pay my bounty. Well, fear not, because I have a pardon letter. Removes any accumulated bounty when turned in at the local train station. So unlike Red Dead Redemption 2, the pardon letter, which is only in this game, basically means that I can commit any number of crimes I want. I just give this pardon letter to the post office person. This letter says four counts of murder, four counts of, oh my God, there's so many counts of crime. But just like that though, uh, it's excused. Yeah, magically they forgot my crimes. Uh, thank you, sir, but uh, you never learn, do you? <laughs> oh, these idiots. Don't ever give John Marston a pardon letter. All right, item number five, unlimited bounty hunting. So in Red Dead Redemption 2, there is a very small limit to the amount of bounty hunter missions you can actually encounter. But with Red Dead Redemption 1, you can do as many of them as you want. Oh, see, look, they're putting up a bounty poster right now. Gee, thanks. Look at this. $160 alive? Damn, I'll take it. All right, so let's just speed run this bounty. 12 seconds later. There we go. Much appreciated. See, easy 140. But see, we'll come back and someone else will put up another poster. Like clockwork. Put up the other bounty poster for me, good man. Unlimited. They'll just keep giving to you. Holy crap, $240 alive? Give me the money. All right, item number six. You can skin dogs, cats, and any other domestic animals. So that's something you can't do in Red Dead Redemption 2, I guess probably because it would be considered indecent or something. I don't know, but clearly they didn't give a crap in 2010. So I just, let me just find a dog or something. Shouldn't be too hard. Of course, I'll be flagged for animal cruelty, but it's fine. Ah, oh, there's a dog. So remember, 
okay? This is just a video game. Don't blame me, blame the video game developers. They're the ones that allow you to do this. And uh, let me just skin it. There we go. Skin it, John. Skin the dog. <laughs> Look at that. Dog meat, dog fur. One count of murder, one count of animal slaughter. I didn't know dogs were considered to be part of murder. I thought it was just a human thing, but. Okay, item number seven. You can drunk walk. Let me just show you what, what I mean by drunk walking. Cause you can't do this in Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2's definition of drunk is just making the screen really blurry. But this game, this game is the realistic version of being drunk. All right, so here I am back at the saloon. See, so I can have a drink. How is this guy? I've been waiting for so long. Come on, hurry up. Mother's run, friend. Yes. Okay, I think, I think it doesn't even take that much to get John drunk. I only need like a few shots and I'll show you what drunk walking means. All right, I'll have another. Same again. And another. The trick is not to let it touch your tongue. Oh, starting to stumble a bit. Nope, John, stay still. Oh. Oh, 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 my my guy's getting drunk. He's getting drunk. Okay, see? Oh my god, what is this? Okay, 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 John, John, keep it together. John, the fact that you can't drunk walk like this in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a crime. This is the most fun gameplay ever. Watch out, I might stumble into you. I'm very drunk. Please, please help me. Carry me. God, oh my god. Oh! Damn, he, he went face first. All right. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna get up, John? John? Right, I think I think I'm good now. Item number eight, you can get a million dollar bounty. So I've gotten a million dollar bounty before in this game. I mean, the simple fact that you can even do that is just insane. Red Dead Redemption 2 caps out at 1500. So item number nine, you can buy horse deeds. So instead of just buying your horse, from the stable straight up like a peasant, like you do in Red Dead Redemption 2. In this game, you literally just go into the general store, talk to the guy, buy a deed to a horse, I'll buy this one, Welsh Mountain. But now this deed doesn't just give me one Welsh Mountain. It gives me an unlimited number of Welsh Mountains. Because even if it dies, I can just use the deed again. In Red Dead Redemption 2, if your horse dies, you are screwed. You cannot get the horse back. Wow, look at this beautiful brown horse. So now let's kill it. All right, here we go. This seems like a good place for you to die, horse. Really sorry it had to be this way, but um, you know, it's okay, I've got the deed, so I can just get another one of your breed. Poor horse, what's wrong with me? I can skin the horse too. That's another thing you can skin, by the way. You stink. So I've killed this horse and I've skinned it just for bonus points, but I can just get another one. Literally just use my deed again. Bam, now I get another Welsh Mountain. Ah, here you are. See, same horse, again. And uh, I'll just kill you as well because why not? I guess it weren't your day, horse. <laughs> God, this is so cruel and awful. All right, item number 10. You can cheat at poker. So poker is a mini game that is present in both games, but in Red Dead Redemption 1, you can actually cheat. So in order to cheat at poker, you need to be wearing the elegant suit, which is already what I happen to be wearing. So, all right, let's just play some poker. It'd be my pleasure. Let's do this. Cheat. Oh. Oh no, I got cut. Damn, oh no. Oh, now he wants to duel me. Just, just don't die. Hey, we got this, John. Just focus, stay focused. Oh, we got him. We got him. What did you think this was? What was that? Keep those <laughs> All right, now for the final thing that I wish Red Dead Redemption 2 would have that Red Dead Redemption 1 does have. You can bribe law officers and witnesses. So like immediately after you commit a crime, you'll get wanted, right? So like murder, but you can bribe a lawman. Usually if you run up to them, it'll give you like a prompt. No, 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 let me bribe you. Let me bribe you, officer, please don't kill me. Bribe, bribe, will you accept, will you accept? Oh, I think my bounty's too high. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I should probably pay off my bounty first. Ah, so you see, this is where those pardon letters are gonna come handy, because I don't have, I don't have a gram, but I do have a pardon letters. Excuse me, please. Here, read this pardon letter. So like, let me just kill this horse. Let me just do something minor. All right, $20 bounty. All right, all right, please. I would like to bribe, I would like to bribe. 
bribe, bribe. You see that load of crap? I bribed that guy and it literally didn't even cost me much. I only had to use nine bucks. So that is all the things I wish Red Dead 2 had that Red Dead Redemption 1 does have.